<clears throat> Hello everyone. Today I came here to give you a presentation. Um, for a moment I'm going to ask the interpreter to stop voicing for me. I kind of want to give you an idea of how um, the communication is going to happen today. So today I came here to give you all a presentation. Most of you know that already. Um, I'm just going to sign, obviously. Okay, so the interpreter can continue voicing for me. Maybe some of you were just sitting there for a few minutes thinking, I have no idea what she's saying. What What's going on? But I did that simply because I wanted you to understand that the interpreter is not only for one person. The interpreter is for everyone here. It's for me, so I can answer any questions that you might have have, except you just don't know sign language. And it's also for you, so that you can understand everything that I'm saying. It's for both of us, so we can communicate effectively. So just keep that in mind. Before we start, I'm just going to go over how how this presentation is going to go. I'm going to ask some questions and I'll give you the choices A, B, C, or D. I'll tell you to make that choice and also keep in mind that these answers aren't meant to embarrass you if you get them wrong. Everything is a learning experience so even if you get the wrong answer you'll know you'll learn something from this. We can't really go in depth on every subject being discussed here, but we're just going to touch the surface on many different things. Today is also for any questions that you may have had. Feel comfortable to ask me. That is what I'm here for. It's important for everyone here to leave and have every question answered. It's kind of like the topic of sex is kind of, it, it's a taboo subject and people may be nervous and afraid to ask about it, but this is a safe space, so feel comfortable. Okay, so I'm going to ask the questions and then give you uh, a choi uh, the choices for the answers. And when you have the answer, just raise your hand and sign them. So what do you think the best word is to describe a person who can't hear? Is it A, deaf, hard of hearing, hearing impaired? So again, the choices are deaf, hard of hearing, hearing impaired, or physically disabled. And the last choice is I don't know. So for the first answer, deaf, how many do you think is the best answer? How many do you think deaf is the best word to describe a person who can't hear? Ten people? And hard of hearing? How many people think that, that is a right? And remember, you have to you have to raise your hand. You can't do it twice. How many think hearing impaired is the right answer? I think three people, I see three people think hearing impaired is the right answer. And the, and physically disabled, how many believe that that is the right word to describe a person who can't hear? No people, alrighty. How many of you just don't know? Okay, no one. 
So really the best answer would be the first choice, deaf. There are so many different aspects involved in the word deaf. There's culture and many different many different personality identifications that go along with the word deaf. It's not just based on how well you can hear. So in America, the deaf community is very large, um, dealing with deaf and hard of hearing. Okay, I'm sorry. So the average American The average American has many deaf and hard of hearing people. Three hundred thousand people have hearing loss in America. And forty thousand people are deaf. All right, so I'm going to move on to another question. How many feel that there is one universal sign language? A sign language that's used all across the world. How many believe that's true? And how many believe it's false? Wow, everyone believes it's false. So that's great, you're right. Europe has their own sign language that is completely different from American Sign Language. ASL has its own grammar, its own facial, facial features and sentence structure. So just as an interpreter in America must be certified and learn the grammar and all the aspects involved, so must an interpreter in Europe. They have their own type of language. He's there. Uh, my video is really slow, so I have to keep uh, reloading it which is why there's so many breaks. Hmm. So for example, in ASL, the word run, in English spelled R-U-N, R-U-N. But in sign language, that same word could have many different meanings, but the sign choice for it will be completely different. So run as in a race, run as in a running nose, run as in a running faucet. The meaning of that word depends the use of sign for that word depends on its meaning and not at all on its spelling. How many believe that all deaf people can read lips? How many believe that's true? One person. Okay, that's fine. And how many believe it's false that all deaf people can read lips? Okay. So you're right. Research, research says that 30% 
can pick up on can pick up on reading lips can pick up on information by reading lips alone but it's difficult to try and pick up on everything just by going off of someone's lips so here, I'm going to mouth two words. Can you guess what I just mouthed? The first word that I mouthed. Ice. Some people say ice. <laughs> the other word, set. Some people say ten. Some people say yes. Wow, okay, so this is a, a lot of people have different understandings from when I said sex, sex, over here, sex. Okay, six. Okay, six over here. Truly, I truly I previously decided on the words. Uh, wrote them down, and we'll share them with you. So the first word was six, and the second word was sex. So. Imagine you're a deaf person and you have to figure out what kind of what's being said just by reading lips. Just as in this example, there's many variations that people could see from the same word. <laughs> but I feel it's best to have communication being written down so you can make sure that what you are saying is truly being conveyed to the person you are communicating with. and my video is still messing up so I'm going to pause and wait for it to load a little So in my experience, writing things down are better. Uh, writing your message down is better than trying to mouth it.